Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Adsatlaib here. Today we'll be taking a look at allowing Unreal Engine to open up links in external browsers. Now, uh, I'm going to showcase two ways of doing this, but you can do this practically everywhere in the engine. Now, here I have a trigger, which if I go ahead and hit play, uh, if I just run in here, you'll see, yeah, it just opens up my YouTube channel. But if I go out here, and I'll just close this down, and then I go to my third person character, and here I've added some UI code. Uh, this isn't really important, it's just a uh, code I've made to just showcase um, what I'm doing in the video. So I'm just going to toggle use UI on, compile, save. Now if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see I have this button here that says my YouTube channel. If I click on this, it should go ahead and open in my browser. After a while, I've, I've got quite a few stuff open actually. But yeah, here, open up in my browser. And that's generally the concept. Uh, this is just going to open up in any of your preferred browsers. On any operating system, uh, within reason, since the operating system doesn't really like this. Uh, but I know PC really doesn't mind or care too much. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Now here I have a basic third person character blueprint. Nothing too special, except if I open up the content browser, you'll see I have added a new widget blueprint. Now if I go ahead and open up this widget blueprint, you'll see, yeah, there's this button that says my YouTube channel. Um, and the point of this button is we want to be able to click on the button, then it will open up into a browser window, a different, like a different external browser window from Unreal Engine. Um, now to do that, it's pretty simple. You gotta take your widget blueprint you've created of a button, and you just want to go to the graph, right? Now here I have code set up. To make sure that we switch the input mode to UI only, so the player can't interact with the game. Um, and what you want to do is you just want to go to your variables tab, and under the um, variables, you want to pick the button you want to be able to open the link. Now you just want to click on that and go to the events and look at the events. Now there's a few. There's on clicked, on pressed, on released, on hovered. Now, we want to take on clicked, and what we want to do is we just, when the player has clicked, we just want to drag out an execution pin, and then we want to launch URL. Then we can just paste in the URL. I have already prepared my channel link, uh, but you can use any URL here. Um, now it's important to note that if I go here, I go launch your can launch your L as a node. Now certain platforms doesn't allow you to launch your L's because of uh, possible security risk. Um, PC usually is very friendly, so Linux, Mac, all those are pretty friendly when it comes to this. Uh, but maybe certain mobile devices won't be. Um, I haven't really tested that with mobile devices. I only know PC works really well. Um, now when you have the launch URL, it's actually done. You can just compile, save. Now if I go to the third person example map, and I just click here, you'll see it will open up an external window. And here's my channel. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, now it's important to note that you can do this practically anywhere in the engine. Uh, you don't have to bind that to URL. So I can go here, go to my content browser, right click, create a new blueprint class, it will be of type actor. I'll call this BP uh, browse trigger. And what we'll do here is we'll make a trigger when the player walks over it, it will go and open up a browser. Um, so I'll just go here to the components, add a nice little box collision, which in this case won't work like a collision, because by default collisions are triggers. Pretty weird concept. Just want to go to your details tab and scroll all the way down. And on you'll find the event 
on component begin overlap. Just want to click plus there to create a new event. I also want to go back again and also put on the on component end overlap. Okay, they have both of those. I just want to make sure that the other actor is equal to our get player character. So that means if the player character is inside of the trigger, then we'll run this code. I just want to run the branch node. And then you just want to, yeah, that's perfect. I also want one for the um, end overlap. So you make sure that you don't make, let's say um, you have a certain other object rolling out. Um, when the player hasn't le left the box, uh, this will completely break the code if you don't do this. Just want to uh, go and duplicate this code. Just uh, connect that up. Other actor to the equal. Just want to connect up the execution pin. That's awesome. Um, now we're going to go ahead and create a new gate. Reason for this is this allows us to have a on and off trigger in a way. Where um, if the player's in it, we'll only call it once. Um, actually, wait. Now a do once node would work better for this. Just want to use a do once node. Just want to go true. Do this once, and then the reset will be the true of the end overlap box. And you don't want to start it closed. You want it open. And when it's completed, uh, you just want to go ahead and. Go and use our launch URL command. And now you can just go here. Yeah. And this was something I expected would happen. If you copy and paste nodes, they actually copy and paste uh, as uh, text. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go to my browser and just copy this link again. Just very mindful of that. You just want to go ahead and paste that URL again. Now I can compile and save. Now before I can test this, um, I'm just going to make my life simple by just removing the uh, UI because the UI is set to uh, inputs in the UI only, which is pretty annoying. So I'm just going to go to my third person BB, blueprints, third person character. Now I've set up the uh, widget stuff here in begin play. going to remove that so we don't see the widget. Now I can just go to my third person example map, go to content, and just drag out the browser trigger. Now what's awesome about this is I can just go ahead and scale this box collision like I want to. Which is amazing. I will just put this, let's say when you go up the stairs it will open up a link about, yeah, 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 something like that should work. Now if I go ahead and go in here, it's going to open up. Yeah, now that's pretty cool and everything, but it's important that I do tell you that you should be safe when doing this because um, usually you want to make sure the player is aware that a link is going to open. You shouldn't just go every time the player enters a random room a link should open because the player doesn't expect that... The player is a bit startled because he thinks, well, the game is trying to do something nefarious. So make sure, like, you have a room where, okay, go into this room, you get a YouTube link or a Twitter link or something like that. Um, just generally try to point out to the player that a URL is about to open. If the player clicks a button, he knows, yeah, the URL is going to open. If the player walks into a trigger, which is pointed out, yeah, this is going to open the link, then he'll be happy. If you don't, uh, you could have problems with the player thinks you're nefarious, and that's not good. You want to build trust with your player base. Uh, but that's it for this video. If you like the content, please subscribe. It would be really appreciated. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit dislike if you didn't. I'm pretty sorry for um, the fact that I have, haven't released a video in two weeks. Um... There's just been a lot of events on recently in my life. Um, pretty interesting stuff. But I have a few big tutorials planned for the future. 
and they'll be ready in pretty soon actually uh, so i can't wait to uh, share what's gonna happen and without further ado everybody good night